My name is Ruth. This is Hank's Make Your Mentor. If you've been given a decal, but you don't know how to apply it, you're in the right place. I'm going to walk you through how to put this adhesive vinyl decal, which works like a sticker, onto this blank cup using stuff that you probably already have around the house and giving some options if you don't have that around your house. If you want to know how to apply iron-on vinyl, also known as heat transfer vinyl or HTV, go ahead and check out this video that I'm linking up above and in the description. This particular decal is removable vinyl, so it works great on things that aren't going to get a lot of wear and tear, it works great on cups for kids when they're changing what design they want all the time, putting it on a mirror or a window. A smooth, shiny surface works best. Before you start, you want to gather a few basic things. Your vinyl decal with its transfer tape or application tape, the object you're putting the design on, something to clean that object with that won't leave lint, rubbing alcohol and coffee filters or blue shop towels work great on most of the items that you can put this vinyl on, a pair of tweezers, and an old gift card or credit card. Let's get this design applied. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it off. So you'll just take your rubbing alcohol, um, a baby wipe that doesn't lint, something just to try and get any dirt, oils, grease, sticker residue off. Next, we'll remove the backing from this transfer tape. The transfer tape is the sticky layer that helps us move the design to the object we're putting it on. Depending on what transfer tape is being used, it might have grid lines on it and it might not. So I'm going to do it so that the transfer tape is facing down and I'm going to pull the backing off. This one happens to have two backings, one covering the extra transfer tape and the other one covering the frog. So I'm going to take off both of them. It can be really useful to have a pair of just ordinary tweezers to kind of help when things are getting caught, especially on edges and in those corners. I'm going to take that off and I want to make sure that I keep the sticky side from touching anything before I'm ready. I'm going to take it and fold it into a U shape like this, position it on my cup. You can work on laying it straight. This is a frog. Frogs jump all over the place. So I am going to intentionally make it crooked, but I'm going to have it curled while I center it. So that way I can slowly roll it kind of rub it down and make sure that I don't get any big bubbles. The towel is folded up underneath to help the cup from rolling side to side too much. So I'm gonna do a basic burnishing or rubbing it down with my fingers, but then this is where the old gift card comes in. And you'll just rub it down. You wanna make sure that you don't rub too hard to pull them up as you're going, but you want to make sure you rub the whole thing. Then it's time to remove the transfer tape. It helps to do it where it's pulling up right across the other transfer tape. Instead of pulling it straight up, you want to pull it over it. If something didn't stick down properly, you just push the transfer tape back down and just rub it down some more to make sure that it stuck. So I'm gonna just kind of rub it down a little bit more with my fingers, make sure that everything looks good. And we have a super cute frog decal on this cup. A couple of things to keep in mind when working with adhesive vinyl. It is likely to pull off paint or damage drywall. So I don't really recommend putting it on. Don't microwave it. Don't put it in the dishwasher. It is not heat resistant. Keep it away from flame and stuff. It's best to let adhesive vinyl sit for ideally two to three days before you do much with it to give it time for the adhesive to fully cure. But since this is removable vinyl, if I want to take this design off in a month, I can just take something that's a little bit sharp to get under it and just go ahead and pull it off. 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I am happy to help and I want to make sure you have a good experience working with this. Thank you so much for watching Hank's Maker Mentor and until next time, bye.